So we have a cosine of 76 degrees, 20 minutes. Now here we don't have seconds, but if I put in something like, let's say 45 and I put two little like a parentheses up there, or I'm sorry, apostrophes, that would mean seconds. But what does that mean? Well, let's just kind of make something up here. Let's suppose this right here is, oh, uh, let's say 40 degrees. Okay, so here's zero. So this angle is 40 degrees. Now, in between these, between zero and 40 degrees, if we split this up, we're not just talking about degrees. It's not just one degree, two degree, three degree, four degree. In between these degrees right here, we can refine these angles much, much more, okay? So the way we do that is using degrees, minutes, and seconds. So within one degree, okay, one degree of measure, there is 60 minutes. Okay, we're really thinking about time here, all right? And then within one minute, there are 60 seconds. So if you just kind of remember your basic... Um, uh, conversions uh, factors in terms of times, 60 seconds and one minute, 60 minutes and one hour, but we're, we're not using hours, we are using degrees. So that's basically what we need to know. And in your calculator, you can uh, use degree, minutes and seconds. There is a DMS button, I believe. I definitely know the function uh, exists, but really what you wanna do is convert okay your angle here uh, from degrees and minutes and if you had seconds you want to convert this angle all into a degree okay so this part is already a degree so what we want to do is convert this 20 minutes into a decimal a part of a degree okay so basically that is what we need to do once we have this as a full kind of decimal value, we can go ahead and punch that into our calculator and figure out the answer. So let's go ahead and see how we do this. It's not that difficult at all. So again, one degree equals 60 minutes. Okay, so think hours, minutes, and seconds. So here we want to know how many uh, degrees is 20 minutes. So you just set up a simple proportion just like this. So uh, one degree is to 60 minutes. Okay, so this is our equivalency, our conversion factor, if you will. And we want to know how many degrees is 20 minutes. So one degree to or per 60 minutes. Okay, so this is our um, kind of our proportion that we're setting up for. So we don't we want to know how many degrees again is in 60 minutes. So we can just set up this simple proportion. I know I'm being redundant here, but you know this is the easiest way to do this. And then, of course, we can just use basic algebra and use the cross product. So that's going to be 20 times 1, which is 20, and then 60 times x is 60x. So we're going to solve for x here. Okay, so we're just going to divide both sides of the equation by 60. And what do we get? We get x is equal to 20 over 60, which is, of course, 1 third, which is, of course, point. 333 three, three repeating. Okay, so that goes on forever and ever and ever. So 20 minutes is the same thing as 0.3 repeating or 0.333 forever degrees. Okay, so this is what we need to do now. So instead of typing this into our or putting this into our calculator, 76 degrees and 20 minutes, we're going to replace this part, okay with uh, the degree measurement of 0.33 repeating. So what you want to do, you just don't want to use one three because this is 0.3 repeating. Use as many threes as possible. Just type in as many as you can. And when you do that, you'll get your answer, which of course is going to be, uh, I should have wrote it down over there, but it will be 0.2, uh, 0.236. It depends on again, how many uh, threes you put in, like six, two, I think it was seven, what was that last digit? But uh, if you round it up to four digits, you would have 0.2363. Okay, so really, really important that you know how to work with degrees and minutes and seconds. And there's other type of problems that we can get into, but this is kind of a quick introduction to this stuff. Now, if you need additional help with uh, degrees, minutes, seconds, trigonometry, that kind of stuff, uh, I teach my full trigonometry course within my pre-calculus course. That's typically the way trigonometry is taught these days. So um, if you want to check that out, just go to my math help program and check out my pre-calculus course. You'll learn more trigonometry than you ever thought uh, is possible. But if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. 
Thank you for your time and have a great day.